Y'all going to have to bear with me? I'm replacing Caleb for the morning and trying to catch everything. On the prayer list, we have a very lengthy prayer list. We want to continue to keep Daryl and Jackie in our prayers. Miss Levada Burklow and Jerry, we're glad to see him a little bit, a little bit better uh, with his back, and obviously Coach Riley uh, with his back. Uh, continue to pray for Miss Wanda Holloway. Um, I don't know if this is an announcement. Is it today? Next Sun, next Saturday, next, next when? Next Sunday, they are going to have a benefit luncheon Sunday, and they're auctioning, doing auction and having cakes and all that for Miss Wanda uh, to help offset some costs of of everything that she's been going through. Continue to pray for Judy Overby. And then we have some families who have lost loved ones this week. Uh, continue to remember Brad Lawson family. Uh, Kelly Bertram's father, Glenn Henson, passed away and the visitation begins today at 12 o'clock. And I think the service is at two. April Reinhardt also passed, and we want to continue with with her and, and her family in your prayers. Okay, now to the bulletin. The Godfish Fry, the annual Godfish Fry, will be held this Saturday, May the 4th. We have been asked to provide 20 pies. They can be brought to Yogi's on Friday or Saturday, May the 3rd or 4th. Uh, donations can also be sent to God Incorporated, 828 Smith Avenue, Cornwall, Tennessee. Baby shower for Kelsey Perry will be May 5th. And the Mother's Day breakfast will be May the 12th. Happy birthdays, Kay Griner, April the 29th, and Nancy McDonald, May the 2nd. And then Thursday, May the 2nd, is also the National Day of Prayer. We'll be meeting together in front of the Lewis County Courthouse at 11 a.m. to pray for our nation and our community. And then there's a little note that says that that's this Thursday, May the 2nd, at 11 a.m. at the courthouse. Another side note, uh, Rick and Jan Brewer's small group uh, is not meeting this evening. Are there any other announcements that I've left off? If not, the scripture reading this morning will be taken from Matthew chapter 22, 35 through 40. One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? And Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and the greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Let's worship. Well, we're going to have one song for our opening prayer. You sing, Listen to Our Hearts. How do you explain?
Heavenly Father, God, we come to you this morning with praise and thanksgiving in our heart, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to come and to gather together and uplift each other, Lord, and praise you and and, and hear, hear your message, Lord, and partake the Lord's Supper. Lord, this is all such a... A great blessing, I think, that we probably take for granted all the time. Well, there's many in this country and um, across the world that, that don't have this opportunity. And we thank you. God, I ask a special prayer right now for, um, for our congregation. Lord, uh, Lord, just help us to uplift each other and, and, and to heal, Lord. Um, give us strength and courage. Lord, give us the courage to use the talents and the gifts that you give us to go out and to spread your gospel. Heavenly Father, I ask a prayer for, uh, for Jared this morning as he uh, brings us the lesson. Um, Lord, just speak through him and, and bless us all with that, Heavenly Father. God, we have many who are sick, and um, Brother Darrell and Brother, Brother Ron Riley, Lord, help him to heal. God, I ask that you just uh, use your healing powers on them, Lord. We need them. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for us. Thank you most of all for Jesus Christ, the life he lived, the death, and the resurrection. God, because without that, Lord, we're nothing. Thank you. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you'll stand me for these next two songs, uh, so if you'll stand with me, I, this song, it just makes me want to move. I want to like get the arm swinging or marching or something, I don't know, but uh, we'll sing all three verses of this song. sacrifice of Jesus so much and following God's will, but also it was a sacrifice God made to give up His Son on our behalf. <laughs> As I travel through life with a struggle
set our minds on communion in the Lord's Supper, I'd like to read a little bit from Luke chapter 22, starting with verse 39, titled, Jesus Agonizes in the Garden. And that's exactly what he's doing right here. He, he knows what's about to happen, and he's bearing the full weight of sin. And in a human way, he's asking, may this cup pass from me, yet also in full submission, not my will, but your own. So let me read from starting from verse 39, Luke 22. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw from beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him, and being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. If you'll join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we gather here this morning in communion with you and with other believers, we, uh, we are about to break this bread that represents the body of Jesus who came in full submission to you for the sacrifice and the atonement of our sins. And I pray that we break this bread and, and take it in a manner pleasing unto you. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. join me in prayer again. In like, in a likewise manner, Heavenly Father, we come to you again in prayer. This juice represents the, the blood shed on the cross for our sins and for the atonement of our sins. And again, in full submission of you, Jesus prayed, not my will, but your own. And I pray that again, we take this in a manner well, in a well reflection of what happened and in a manner pleasing to you. It's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. While that concludes the Lord's Supper, I'm going to offer a prayer for the collection out front. Heavenly Father, one last time I come to you in prayer. I say a prayer over the collection taken this morning, and I pray that it was taken in a, in a, in a cheerful, giving manner. And, and I pray that the money used this morning will go to the furtherment of your church for the upkeep of, of this church building. And for, for all that we do in the name of the Lord, I pray that it's a manner pleasing to you. It's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Stand with me again. We've got two songs before the lesson today. We're singing the first and last verse of Sin the Light. <laughs> our children.
attempting the words, and sometimes I think it's just about children. But when we look at that last line, when we get to it this time, I don't want us to think, say they are weak. I want us to say we are weak, but he is strong. All right, Let's, here we go again. Jesus. Jesus. 